Friend dad, I no. should have known you were a fellow disciple. Where's your class at? I'd love to tag along. Oh, it's far. Uh, Queens. Deep, deep Queens. Like, last stop at the 7. Then you have to get out and walk. It's kind of in a bad I grew up in Queens! No, it like the back of my hand. I'll give you a ride. And it'll only cost you dinner with me tomorrow night. You know, I'm actually not feeling that great all of a sudden. Oh, no. What, what hurts? I know I didn't mention this last night, but I'm a doctor. Are you kidding me? Have you never done one of these before? Done what? This. A one-night stand. Is that what this is? So you were trying to sneak off without saying goodbye. That's kind of how these things work. Yeah, I wouldn't know. You've never had a one-night stand. Stephanie, when I met you at that bar last night, I thought you were smart, hilarious, and, God forgive me, sexy as hell. But I would never have brought you home to make love to you if I didn't think we had a real shot at a beautiful, magical future together. Stephanie, I think I'm falling in love with you. Oh, no. You're not supposed to have feelings. You're, you're not even supposed to know my name. This is supposed to be terrible and, and anonymous and, and vapid. So what you're saying is that you were just using me for sex. I thought we had a real connection. I'm sorry. Can we just get a time out? Isn't that what you guys want? A nameless, commitment-free animal sex? But now you're telling me that you want to make me a frittata? Well, excuse me. I just thought that after a passionate night of magical lovemaking... Hey, don't, don't call it that. That after a night of magical love making, you might be hungry. But you know what? Maybe we just want to feel special. Maybe guys just want to find true love, too. Oh, I was not prepared for this. 